what's going on there, YouTube? This is Bugle Blaze Game Room back with you once again. And today we're going to be taking a look at new gaming stuff. Um, got some cool stuff here. I mean, I don't have tons of stuff, but I got some enough stuff I wanted to show off. Um, first thing we got here is I picked up a tablet case for my um, for my Asus Transformer TO TF201. Um, it's a very nice case. It's got a nice handle. Uh, it's made by Amazon Basics. It costs about 12 bucks. Um, just to show you here, you got these zippers. And then, boom, there's my tablet right there. Very nice. Um, it's got like an orange interior. Um, another thing I got with it uh, here, if you open up this side pocket, is I picked up this uh, tablet stand. It's just this piece of plastic here, and it holds it up. And it's also made by Amazon Basics. This is the smaller version. This one runs about six bucks. Um, so, if tablet users out there, definitely get this. It's very nice. I have a silicone skin and all coming on the way for it too. So, definitely very awesome for that. Um, let's see what else I got. Uh, I got a bunch of these. Um, I think I ordered five in total, but they are replacement battery covers for your Xbox 360. Uh, as you guys know, I've been buying some controllers. And they haven't come with the backs. Now they're complete. They look good. And that's why I got those. Um, also, for my DS Lite, I got this really nice case that I've already put on it. Um, this Mario see-through case. It's very nice. Um, allows you to uh, you know, still see the nice black color. But, um, you know, you get the, uh, the Mario look on there. So that was cool. Um, speaking of Mario, picked up a... Uh, I guess this is the Fire Luigi plush there. Very nice plush. And I haven't seen this one before, so I picked it up. And this is a Waluigi. Um, so he's pretty cool. He's got some neat legs on him. So got Waluigi there. Um, I guess we'll go to the next thing here. I picked up a PS3 Udraw game tablet. Uh, this was only around $8.00. Um, and the main reason I got it, it was for, I can plug this into my computer and use it as a, uh, drawing tablet as well. Um, so the Wii one will probably be more for the games. Uh, this one will be just for me. Uh, if you can get one at your Best Buy and they're still this price, around seven or eight bucks, get one. Um, you know, they're kind of a neat thing to have. I uh, just got back from GameStop tonight and got this bag of goodies right here and what it is is actually it's a new system I've gotten it is a PSP Go um, these are fifty dollars right now at, at your local game stops and um, this is the black 16 gigabyte model and this one is in like flawless condition as you can see uh, very nice turn it on there flip it up there we go haven't got all the stuff put on it yet, but the um, cool thing about it is right here, I'll go ahead and show you. There was our price, $49.99. They're going fast. Um, it came with the startup books, and it also came with the uh, the charger and all. So for 50 bucks, that's really not bad. I do recommend getting the $5 one-year warranty. You know, if your system craps out in a year, you know they'll try to give you another one or they'll just give you your 50 bucks back so definitely uh, worth it for that and some of you guys are like well you have a Vita what did you get a PSP Go for? Uh, the cool thing about this is it's about the size of my phone so um, I, what a lot of people do is they'll put some emulators on here some old school uh, you know RPGs and stuff because this pad there, the way the controls are set up, is really, really made, you know, to have good, you know, uh, Game Boy Advance or Game Boy style um, RPG fun. Um, also Super Nintendo, etc. So uh, that's a big reason people got these. And um, 200 bucks for an all digital thing with just PSP games really wasn't good. But um, 50 bucks, I highly recommend going out and getting one. I wanted the white one, but this is the only one they had at my store, um, and I was very lucky they had it, so got that. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at here is all of the portable games that I've gotten. 
Um, we've got a bunch of PSP here. So let's see what we got. Throw this bag down here to the side. Uh, actually, we'll start off with the Game Boy Advance. Uh, we got the Zatch Bell. This is Electric Arena. We got that for the Game Boy. Really enjoyed Zatch Bell. Um, we got Mortal Kombat on the Vita. I haven't, pa I haven't played that one yet. Um, and then we got a stack of PSP goodness. Um, picked up Persona. Um, been liking a little bit of my Persona 4 that I've played of it, so figured, you know, I'd, I might stop where I'm at on it and try to play through the series on the PSP. Um, definitely looks good. I've heard so many great things, and I uh, can't wait to see delve right into that. Uh, got Wild Arms XF. Um, really do like the Wild Arms games. I've played number three and I believe part of number five. Um, they're very, very good, you know, strategy kind of turn-based uh, RPGs with um, great stories and great characters. So I saw the PSP version, decided to pick that up. Um, got this one really just because it was a Tales game. Don't know much about it, but it is uh, Tales of the World Radiant Mythology. Um, picked up Chess Master. Love this game. Uh, picked up Valkyrie 2 Chronicles. I believe this is the sequel to um, the Valkyrie Chronicles on the PS3, so um, I might not even attempt to play this until I get that one done. Um, we got Ape Escape on the loose. Love Ape Escape. Haven't played it since the PS1 days. Um, didn't even know they had a PSP game, so um, I saw that and had to grab that. Uh, also, we got some NFL Street 2, or NFL Street Unleashed 2. Um, I remember playing these back in the day and um, wanted a sports game for on the go and decided to get this one. Um, this one I kind of needed just for filler. Now it's SSX on tour, and really this was like the only other game they had with its cover art, so... That's a big reason I got that. And the game I really wanted out of these three for the sale was uh, Half Minute Hero. Heard a lot of good things about this. Um, don't know really what to expect from it, but I have heard a lot of people enjoyed this game. And once again, it's another x -Seed game. x has been doing really well on the PSP. Well, they did really well on the PSP, I guess I should say. Um, so, got that one. So that's all my PSP stuff. Um, also, let's see what we we'll get into next here. Uh, we we'll get into a couple NES games I got here. We got uh, Casino Kid 2 right there. Uh, I got this for like $3.99. Um, so, yeah. And I also got this one for $3.99. This is actually uh, T and C Surf or whatever, number two. They call it Town and Country Surf. To this. this is actually number two. It's called Thrillas Sur Surfari. So like a Surfari kind of thing. Looked pretty neat um, from the cover art. So decided to pick that up. Uh, next up, we'll go into the PS3. Um, speaking of the PS3, I did buy myself a new PS3. Um, well, not for myself. I bought it for my father in the living room um, because he's been wanting to play PS3 ever since I bought mine um, or got mine as a present. And I usually never let him play it. So, um, so he's been wanting one since I believe 2009 or so. And uh, I got a really good deal on the Assassin's Creed 3 bundle. Um, for a used like new one so I got that uh, however it didn't come in its original box but everything else was brand new um, what it was was Amazon repackaged the box and sold it that way um, so it came with Assassin's Creed 3 uh, 30 months or 30, 30 days of PlayStation Plus which I've activated all my other three from my Vita and this one I have four months of PlayStation Plus now, and that is absolutely an amazing service, um, especially if you have a Vita and a PS3. You know, if you're just wanting to play some quick games on the go, they have Retro City Rampage right now, 
which is a fourteen ninety nine game you can play for free as long as you're a member. They're coming out with Sleeping Dogs this month on it, which is, you know, a looks like a very good game that I haven't played yet that will definitely give me a chance and if I can get a cheap disc based copy I will. Um, but the amount the amount of stuff on there and the sales they have is absolutely amazing. You know, if you're wanting to buy some minis or PSP games, PS Vita games, what have you, it's a great thing to have. And you know, if even if you you know just want to try the 17.99 three month trial, try it. You know, see how you like it. And uh, especially if you have multiple PS3s, it gives you the chance to save on this one. I can go in there and continue the same game, which is something really really neat. The uh, that um, you know Sony came up with. So that's definitely really cool. Um, I highly recommend that, but enough of that. So I got him that, um, and he bought some games and all for it, and uh, or I bought him some other games for it that he picked out, and here's what he picked out. Yeah, he got Condemned 2 Bloodshot. Uh, he picked up the Golden Compass. He got Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, Front Mission Evolved. Actually, I picked this one up. My bad. This is mine. And uh, the game he really wanted the PS3 for was Heavy Rain. This is the, uh, I believe, no, this is, yeah, the director's cut. Um, this is the game he really wanted it for, this one, and I think he wanted to play Uncharted and some sports games. So, um, yeah, he uh, he hasn't cracked into this yet. We've been playing some Madden and uh, WWE and stuff like that on there, two-player um, but yeah, he's been wanting to crack into this, so uh, definitely I picked this up for him for a good price, and uh, he was he was really really happy that uh, that I got him that. So, um, and another game I got for myself is Back to the Future, the game. I'm a big fan of the Back to the Future, you know, uh, series and all, and uh, I really enjoyed the the first one uh, on the NES. Didn't play two and three, but I really did enjoy the first one. You know, I had some fun with that as a kid, and I decided to get this one. I think it was $5, so if you can go to, go to your local GameStop, that's $5. See if you can pick it up. So that was that for those. And my last bag is filled with my 360 stuff. Um, also got one PlayStation 2 game. Picked up Front Mission 4. That's why I got Front Mission Evolved. Um... I really I pop, popped this in and I thought it was a pretty good game. Um, so I saw they had a PS3 front mission and decided to pick that up. So here is our final stuff. We got Golden Axe Beast Rider. I've heard great things about this. Um, I think Bracey uh, and Heath were playing this or something. And... Um, I found a really nice copy, really cheap, so pick that up. Um, this was a highly underrated kind of Dynasty Warriors like game, and that's 99 Nights. Uh, played the first little bit of this, and I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, this is a very early 360 game, so you're getting the better than Xbox, the not as good as now kind of graphics, um, which for a Dynasty Warriors game, that kind of makes or breaks it. And, uh,. Definitely very good. Um, story seems pretty good, um, and it seems like a, just a fun game to play. It's a beat 'em up, slash 'em up, all that good stuff. Uh, next up here we got Deadliest Warrior Ancient Combat. This one's also five dollars, and what it comes with it comes with Deadliest Warrior Ancient Combat, and it came with something else too. I thought. Yeah, it came with this other disc here, uh, Deadliest Warrior. Um, some kind of DVD that has video exclusive stuff in it, so you get this DVD with it. Um, but yeah, it has the it has two full fighting games. It has Deadliest Warrior the game and Deadliest Warrior Legends and all the DLC. So if you had this game, you know, on your downloads or whatever, and really liked it, see if you can get this. It's five dollars, brand new at GameStop. Um, and it has both games along with all the DLC. So, um, I played the first bit of the first game before. I haven't played it on, on the disc based, but on the digital. And, um, they were pretty good games. They weren't nothing to write home about. But, um, you know, for $5, I definitely recommend it. 
uh, got this one uh, for my good buddy um, Cody. Uh, he's always said good things about it, and I uh, found myself a deal on one. Got this for 16 bucks, and that is Dodon Pachi Resurrection Deluxe Edition. Uh, this is the PAL import, of course, or what have you. Um, it does come with the game disc, the manual, and the uh, soundtrack. So we got all of that. I did have to replace the case, though, was the only problem. But that's okay. Um, hey, looks good now, and that's all that matters. Um, keeping on the trend, they had this down to like $11 sealed. And that was Akai Katana. So I went ahead and picked that up. Another shmup, getting a shmup on. Um, horrible game, don't buy this game. This is Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. Don't go into this thinking it's like a Dragon Ball Z Budokai game. Wrong. Um, horrible game, horrible mechanics. I really despise it, and you don't hear me say that about many games at all. Stay away from this game. This has really pissed me off at the Dragon Ball Z franchise. And if it wasn't for the Budokai HD collection that came out, you know, this could have really, really hurt their franchise. But this is an absolute horrid game. Um, don't buy it. I paid 10 bucks for 12 bucks for it, and I really wish I could have had that back. Horrible game. And then I got this here. Um, I already have the game, so I might um, trade off the game or something. But I did get the uh, get it for all of its extras, and it was only ten dollars, and it was sealed until I opened it. Um, and that was a Two Worlds Two Premium Edition. This is the German version. Uh, plays perfectly fine on the uh, American Xboxes. And what this comes with, it comes with. Uh, well, let's see. It doesn't tell me what all it comes with. It came with like a pack of cards, um, this pen. With, has a Swarovski crystal. Uh, also has the game, of course, a map, a DVD, a soundtrack, and all sorts of stuff in there. Um, so I got, oh yeah, here we go, contents. Um, yeah, the uh, multilingual version, the dragon pen, the cards, the DVD and CD, the map, and then some some kind of art book or something. Um, the company Topware Interactive was selling these for ten bucks uh, on the Amazon's website. So decided to pick one, one up. I do have up here, which you can't see, uh, the big royal or whatever the edition they call it that came with the statue and all um, of this lady here. Um, so pretty much, I just got this one for collection purposes. Uh, this is my third copy of the game, so. Um, it's an okay game from what I've played. It's not Skyrim, it's not Oblivion, and we're not going to get into that. But that's what I've gotten, guys. Um, hope you all have enjoyed. Um, my Nino Kuni is coming. Uh, the art book's coming, or the strategy guide, I should say. Um, and I have something else coming as well. Um, so definitely stay tuned. Um, we'll see y'all next time. Remember to go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, go back and check out all my other videos, and we'll see you next time.